Oh, re <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, welcome to another episode of the United Reef Report. So I wake up this morning minding my own business and bam, two major headlines. David Ornstein and Patrick Berger are reporting that Ronaldo has been offered to both Chelsea and Bayern Munich. Cristiano will not join Bayern Munich as reported. The superstar was offered to the Bundesliga side by his agent, George Mendes. Cristiano was open for a move to Germany, but Bayern bosses discussed it and said no. And then Ornstein explains that Todd Bowley met George Mendes in Portugal last week. Idea of Cristiano Ronaldo to Chelsea among subjects were discussed. Man United expect him to stay. The 37 year old loves Manchester United but has concerns. So, much like many of you reading this, there's three worrying things for me. I think first, Mendes, is, Mendes Ronaldo's agent, doesn't act without the blessing of Ronaldo. And we've seen agents, the kind of agent player relationships in the past where the agent is controlling the player for more money. When it comes to Mendez and Ronaldo, Mendez rarely speaks out of turn without Ronaldo's full permission. So knowing that and knowing that Mendez offered Ronaldo to both Chelsea and Bayern, you absolutely know that Ronaldo gave him the green light to do so. And then Patrick Berger and David Ornstein are tier one sources. So even though these seem like clickbaity topics and articles, these are very, very certified publications. And then the last thing that worries me is how do we manage that? How do we replace him? in the club and you know in the transfer market so you know with the Ronaldo leaving hypothetically who do we go to in the club we have Martial who's a flop and his disaster loan at Sevilla absolutely certified that he can't play for for us ever again Cavani is leaving and I think it'd be asking too much of Rashford to play center forward he's out of form in the wing positions and I think it's asking too much for him to play the center forward position now and then looking in the transfer looking in the transfer world, you got Nunes and Holland to City and Liverpool respectively. And then apart from that, I don't see any obvious top tier strikers being readily available. Now you could kind of look at this these revelations that came out today about Ronaldo in in different perspectives. I mean, yes, the optics of pinning all our hopes on the 37 year old striker with no backup plan is, is bad is a bad look but i look at it from ronaldo's standpoint and you put yourself in ronaldo's shoes you look around you you're 37 years old you're not getting any younger you're playing europa league the club is crumbling around you there's uncertainty in the future most likely you were promised many things and many changes with a new manager new regime new ceo new director of football new this new that but a couple months into the transfer window, there's no transfers to be made, no investments made in the squad. So from Ronaldo's standpoint, I think he thinks it's a very great idea to join two teams like Bayern and Chelsea. And then looking at it from these two clubs' perspective, first from Bayern, now Ronaldo would be going into a, a win-now situation. Hypothetically, Ronaldo comes in, Mane could play on the left. And you have a point attack, Ronaldo and Mane already added to Bayern Munich, you know, a juggernaut in, in, in Europe and in Germany. And then when you look at Chelsea, obviously lo losing Lukaku, you're bringing in a 20-25 goal a season striker in Ronaldo. He would fit very well in, in, in Chelsea's system. Moving on, Dean Henderson. Fabrizio Romano is confirming that Manchester United goalkeeper Dean Henderson will join Nottingham Forest on loan and most importantly here there's no buy option included in the deal and that's something Nottingham Forest really pushed for we did not budge on that because I think you know Dean Henderson there's a lot of talks around the goalkeeper but we saw his loan deal to Sheffield United a few seasons ago and he played really well this is just another opportunity for him to prove himself and if he could do it I think there'll be a lot of eyes on Dean Henderson. And lastly, I want to end with this. This picture is from Harry Maguire's recent reception, getting married. No clean sheets tonight for Harry. All right, this has been episode five of the United Reef Report. Subscribe for more daily content.